Patrick Corbin talking about a mechanical issue that he's found that he's going to try and fix going into tonight's outing. Fell behind, was, was quick with that front side and leaving a lot of um, sinkers down the way they're supposed to be, kind of just way away and, and up. So um, a lot of times that's because you're just opening up. So just felt a little off, felt maybe a little quick front side. And um, I thought after that, made a, made a little adjustment, felt better. Thought I was in the zone a little more, uh, but I was just falling behind um, today pretty much throughout and um, just Looking forward to f for my next bullpen to be able to go out there and just try to um, kind of work on it and get better. Getting ahead is important for every pitcher, but especially for Patrick Corbin. Look at his fastball and slider usage this season. L focus especially on when he's behind in the count. He leans so heavily on that fastball. When he gets two strikes on hitters, though, he leans much more on that slider. And Bo, that is his wipeout pitch. We've talked about it all season long. He throws the different variations of them, three different sliders. So in your mind, getting count leverage for Patrick Corbin maybe even more important than other pitchers? Yes, it's more important because obviously because he's so good in those kill counts when he gets the two strikes as a hitter, you're going to try to do everything that you can not to allow him to get the two strikes. So what, is, what are the hitters doing to Patrick Corbin? They're trying to ambush him. And what I mean by that, they're trying to basically get him early in the count. I would love to see him use his changeup more. And when you look at the changeup, obviously we know he's been a two-pitch pitcher with the variation of the slaughter. But I believe the changeup is a front-to-back pitch, which will allow him to get weak contact early in the count because the, the hitters are trying to be aggressive. Bo, that's a pitch, the changeup, that he threw 10% of the time in 2016, 9% of the time in 2017. This year, just 4% of the time. So it's a pitch that he's thrown more in the past, and you think he should more going forward. I think he should moving forward because, again, when you think about early contact and a hitter basically trying to get a fastball or he throws the get-me-over breaking ball, that's a much easier pitch to time up than a front-to-back pitch like a changeup.